I decided to jump back on BR today because I am 3-0. and And if there was any time that I would be going on a long run in any BR, it would be with this squad if you haven't seen any of the first... I think I posted two videos so far of this uh, squad. The third game I played, it was... It was just funny what happened. I remember I got off to a really good start, and then the dude I was just... He was just screwing around pretty much. Like, he was letting everything drop after I was up by, like, three runs or something. So, obviously, I wasn't going to post that. So, I am currently 3-0 and in this BR. And, yeah, if I was ever going to do something in any Battle Royale, it would be with this squad. I got Kelvin Herrera, Andrew Miller, and Hunter Strickland in the bullpen. So... This needs to be the squad to make a run because I never went on a long run in MLB 16. Even though I didn't really play BR that much in MLB 16, all I did was play uh, head, head to head pretty much. So yeah, need to get something going. This guy had a Mike Trout on his squad too, and I'm pretty sure this guy also went on, we did go on a long run, I'm pretty sure, from uh, just his, whatever, his universal profile thing as the 12-0 title or whatever. So I'm guessing this guy has gone 12-0. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing I got my hands full a little bit with this guy. So, luckily, he was able to, uh, we swung 3-0, and which I never would have done in a, in a million years. Never would have done that. Just rolled over on one that was a ground ball to third base. So, Herrera is inserted. He's been doing very bad in some of the ranked seasons games I was playing with him because he is on my Diamond Dynasty squad too. But, you know, hopefully he could do something in this game and just in every single game because I, I'm counting on these three, man. If it's going to be a long run, it's going to be because of Andrew Miller, Herrera, and Strickland. So these guys need to come through right there. I'm just getting a ground up to shortstop second out of this inning. So Herrera came in, did his job. So, I mean, yeah, like, Herrera is just so... He's, he's sketchy, man. When you put him in the game, you never know what's going to happen because some people can just tee off on him or he could just be striking everybody out. So, Trout... Gets a little weak chopper hit, and of course, that's an infield single. I saw that coming a mile away. So is this where a rally can possibly be started? We will just have to wait and see. I mean, it looked like this guy was sitting on some off-speed pitches, judging by that swing right there. So maybe I should just continue to throw the heat, but mix up the location because you just throw those fastballs in the same location every time. You're not going to get away with that. So luckily, I'm able to go up 0-2. In this at bat, so I mean, didn't really want to waste a pitch, man. Wanted to get rid of this guy very quick. He's going down swinging, so this is where, this is where the squad is going to start off. Schwarber is leading it off. He was not leading it off in the in the previous two games. I don't think. I think I was batting him third. So I want to get that 99 power up to the plate against the right-handers number one. So yeah, like if you got somebody with all commons in your starting rotation. Then you got to face the first guy, so Schwarber with that 99 power against the righties can do something. But right there, that is just a ground ball to first base. So unfortunately, Schwarber wasn't able to get the squad going. Although, I do got some very good players behind Schwarber in the lineup. This is the flashback, Austin Jackson. He had a very good uh, first couple games, I'm pretty sure. That's a line drive to right field, so second out of this inning. He goes to the pen, puts a lefty in. So Jose Ramirez is up. That doesn't really matter with him. First pitch swinging is getting a single up the gut. So let's get something going with two down, man. I've been having a lot of two out rallies in this game so far. So let's get another one started right now. Hosmer is up to the dish next. And I don't know, man. I've been doing... I just find that I've been doing a lot better with the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchups. I might be doing better with the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchups lately than righty-on-lefty. No joke. I've been going off. With the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchups, I mean, with the Reds, Griffey, and Diamond Dynasty, I've been just getting multiple base hits a game. A lot of them have came against lefties. And yeah, man, like, I've just been... I remember when MLB 16 was almost all said and done, I was just putting a bunch of lefties in to try and see if I could, you know, improve my lefty-on-lefty -lefty game. Hosmer is making some... You know, he's fouling some pitches off. I wasn't making really bad swings. right. That was a very late swing right there, but still, I thought he was going to go back to something off-speed. And Hosmer connects. So that is leaving the yard. So this is what I am saying, man. The two-out rally needed to start, and it did. Hosmer has been going off when I was using him in just some games against the computer. Get The Sanchez is up next, and he goes deep. So this is getting... Wait a minute. This, this guy. Did this guy press... He, he, either his PlayStation was on fire, engulfed into flames, or he threw his controller through the TV. 
from what I just saw. This guy didn't even give the ball a chance to leave the yard. The ball was in mid, like halfway to the fence, and this guy left. So obviously that guy got very heated from that. So I don't, I'm not complaining. That's a win. That's another W on the board for this squad. So I'm four and zero now. So decided to play another game too because yeah, I mean I'm trying to get a little bit of a run going. Trying to go 12 and zero for the first time in BR in my history. Because, yeah, I'm definitely going to play BR a lot more this year because, yeah, like, since they're changing up the rewards every single month, why not? Last year was just, I don't know, I found that they didn't even really give you that, half the time they really didn't even give you good rewards for going 12-0, and but it seems like every single time I've seen somebody, uh, like, post pictures and stuff of going 12-0, and they've gotten really good rewards, like, very good rewards, so, I mean, let's try and do something. Jose Ramirez is up after Austin Jackson got the single. Jose Ramirez driving one down the third baseline. So this is where the squad is going to get something going again. So I don't know what happened in left field. He kind of bobbled it or something. I mean, possibly Austin Jackson could have made it home right there. But I decided to leave two guys in scoring position because Hosmer, all I need to do was just send one to the outfield. And that is a guaranteed run pretty much because Austin Jackson has half decent speed over there at third base. And lefty in again. So I wasn't worried with Hosmer at the plate, man. This guy is a beast and has been a beast for myself so far. So, I mean, taking two pitches right there, 2-0. and oh, You know he's going to try and sneak in a fastball. Possibly he does. Although I was late on that swing, I'm able to send that one pretty deep to the warning track. Too bad that wasn't off the wall. But either way, I'm able to get the sacrifice fly. I didn't even mean to send that guy to third base. That could have been ugly right there. That could have possibly not even scored that run from third base right there so the Sanchez Gary Sanchez I'm power swinging with him all the way man lefty you know I'm power swinging trying to send one over the green monster with Gary Sanchez 100% I'm liking what Gary Sanchez has been doing for the squad so far I mean I can see why people are saying they've been using Gary Sanchez for their squad in just uh, ranked seasons games and stuff but right there he's not able to do anything unfortunately he wasn't able to score Ramirez from third base but still I got the one nothing lead, that's all you can ask for, but in, in BR, and especially at Fenway. Fenway, anything can happen. I know anything can happen in this game in general, but at Fenway, that's an ex there's, an a there's an asterisk on that. Anything can happen at Fenway in this damn game, man. With that green monster, just, it's, it's, I don't know. Fenway is just crazy to play at. Billy Hamilton is on this guy's squad. Was, good thing he was not getting on base to begin this inning, because that is deadly. He would have stole second easily. I mean, pitch outs... For guys with 98, 99 speed and really good stealing stats, you can't even stop them. You go to the pitch out, there's really nothing you can even do. I mean, when I was using Jonathan VR and he has 98 speed, 99 steal, the computer and just people I was playing, they were going to the pitch out a bunch and they couldn't even stop VR from stealing second base. So, I mean, this guy was swinging at the sliders down and away out of the strike zone like I've never seen. So, why not just keep feeding this guy some? I mean, Miggy is coming to the play for this guy next. Why not try and, uh, you know, throw a curveball in the dirt, see if this guy chases that? Nope. Doesn't want to chase the curveball in the dirt, so go back to the slider down and away. Just don't hang it. I do hang it! But Miggy just hits a line drive at the third baseman. Man, you should have seen my reaction when that was on the way to the plate. I almost fell to the ground because I thought Miggy was going to send that one deep 100%. Brandon Phillips is leading it off to begin the second. That's a line drive to third base, so not able to get something going for the first batter, but Beltron has been, I think he's been swinging a good bat the first couple games too, so Beltron could possibly get something going right here. High and away, strike. Too bad I wasn't sitting on that, man. I was saying, wait for the high fastballs. He throws me one. I'm not even sitting on that, but he's trying to He's trying to sneak in a hanging curve. You can't get away with that. That almost leaves the yard. And Beltron, this guy could have possibly thrown Beltron out if he decided to throw right to second base. But Beltron's getting the double. So this is where the squad needs to get some insurance. Possibly send one deep or something. This guy would have left possibly. So Peraza is up. High fastball again. Not swinging at that. Just get something to the gap. That's all that needs to happen. Just send something to the gap. And Beltron could possibly score. Just get at least a two-run lead. Because, yeah, Fenway, solo, sh and just home runs in general are just... They're going going everywhere, pretty much. Left, right, center, everywhere. Fenway, just home runs are being dished out every two seconds, pretty much. So, Peraza, good eye right there. Looking at the fastball inside. Two, one count. So, I mean, what do you, what do you think he's going to give me right here? He's trying to go to the... Man, that curveball, you can be sitting on fastball all you want. And then when you drop in that curveball, you can just adjust to that very easily. But... I think he had the breakout Kevin Pillar in center field. What the hell was that? 
Doesn't come up with the grab, so I'm able to get two guys in scoring position again. Herrera, no chance. I'm leaving him in. I did have Strickland and Andrew Miller warming up in the pen. So I'm going to the bench. Uh, Coco Crisp is in. He's a switch hitter, so it didn't even matter who he put in. If he decided to respond back with the righty, doesn't matter to me. He uh, leaves the lefty in, so Coco Crisp is... Uh, in the same situation as I was in in the previous inning. All I need to do is send one to the outfield, preferably deep. So Coco does that. That's all I needed from Coco right there was to do exactly what he did right there. So obviously that's going to score the run from third base. I'm also tagging up at second, so that runner advances as well. So top of the order now. Schwarber is up. Uh, I don't think Schwarber did anything that much in the last two games. The first two games, Schwarber was going off. I remember he had a frozen rope, left the yard in probably less than a second. No joke. So lefty on lefty. I mean, I'm not too worried about that. Waiting on something. I was just waiting for this guy to hang another curveball in. Schwarber could possibly put this game away. Scoring more. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air.